Today on Bloodbath and Beyond, we reviewed Silent Retreat, where your screams are heard. Silent Retreat is a Film Monkey production directed and written by Trisha Lee and co-wrote by Corey Brown. This movie's about a young girl, Janie, who's sent to a silent meditation rehab center in the middle of nowhere. She comes to realize that the men running the camp are brainwashing women, and if she makes a sound at all, she'll find out what lurks in the woods. So what do we like about this movie? I found the setting of this movie was really cool. There wasn't a lot of leaves, there wasn't a lot of like bushes or anything like that. It was more like dead trees, so it gave it that real creepy feel, which was nice. That leads me into probably my favorite part of the movie which is the sound design all the folly of people walking and just like little sound effects really played a big role in this movie same with like the whole score too I thought the score like kept everything going at an awesome pace even with lighting all the night shots we actually could still see facial features what they wanted you to see was what they were showing with the light which was really nice one of the hardest things to do as an actor is to deliver your character without saying any lines and they really did it in this film I I like this strong female lead, which was Janie, played by Chelsea Janish. When things started to get heated up in like the last bit of the movie, she really showed her strengths as an actress. She did some pretty solid things that we can't talk about that you don't see a lot of females do in horror movies. I also liked Robert Nolan. He made a very creepy dude. Like somebody that I would probably be afraid of or afraid to talk back to if I was in a situation like like this. He executed his role really, really well, and I was creeped out by him, so. Every single kill that was seen in this was really well executed, and the practical effects they used were phenomenal. When it hits, it hits you hard. It's really good. Now it's time to talk about our dislikes. I didn't like the being that lurked in the woods. The only thing I just really didn't like about it was the fact that we didn't get to know more about it. It just felt like it wasn't a part of the first half of the movie and then it became a big part at the end of the movie. My only issue with this movie would have been the inconsistent sound within the story. People are told to be quiet and when people make loud noises, bad things happen. Sometimes. There are times when people are doing very loud things and you would expect this bad thing to happen, and it doesn't. Well, I can see why they did it uh, based on the last few minutes of the movie. I just think that it should have been tightened up a little. Now it's time for our final thoughts and ratings. I really enjoyed this movie. It had a really cool atmosphere. All the shots were awesome, the lighting was great, the sound and music design was perfect, and the acting was pretty spot on for each of the characters' roles. And what lurked in the woods wasn't as cheesy as I thought it was going to be. So I'm gonna give this movie four and a half adorable girls meditating out of five. I went into this movie not knowing what to expect. I figured it was gonna be a really good thriller, and it was. There was a lot of good suspense. The way they told the story, even without dialogue, was really well delivered. I thought the acting was great. I was engaged throughout the entire thing. That being said, I'm going to give this film four metronomes out of five. That's what we thought about this movie. If you get a chance, check it out. Like this video, sub to the channel to stay up to date with our reviews, and don't forget to tweet us at bloodbath underscore TV. Mm -hmm.